Hello friends, welcome back to SQL with Manoj. Today in this video, we'll see how to install SQL Server Integration Service or the SSIS in short. Okay, so uh, SSIS is a package or a tool that you get with SQL Server itself, okay, along with the reporting services and analysis services. So uh, today we'll see how to install integration services. To install integration services, you just need the SQL Server bits, okay. So I'm using SQL Server 2014 RTM bits and I'll use the SQL Server setup.exe. Okay, so I'll just uh, double click. You get this installation center wizard where you click on installation and you click on new SQL Server standalone installation or add feature to an existing installation. Just click on this, it will open up a new window and you can close the previous window. And here, process is almost same where you know you have to choose. Okay, I'll just uncheck this and we'll click next and in the mm, process you'll have to choose add features okay click next okay so here there are two options you have perform a new installation of SQL Server 2014 and add features to an existing instance of SQL Server 2014 so as we already installed SQL Server 2014 in my previous video I show you you can just click on this okay and you can choose the instance right so as we are installing SSIS for 2014 we have just this instance right click next okay and you will get all the features that are available for SQL Server 2014 to add to this machine right and the server so you have this integration services option right if you can click here you can see includes the designer runtime and utilities that enable integration services to move, integrate and transform data between data stores, right? So it will give you the whole integration services package to design and, you know, to run the ETLs, right? So just click next, okay? And uh, this is my own machine, so I'm not uh, using, so I'm using the default account name. Um, and, you know, as you are working on a dev environment or, you know, uh, your test environment, you can change the account name here. You can use the service account name here and apply the password. Okay, I'll just click next. Okay, and just install. Okay, so you are done. That, that's very simple process, right? So the setup process has been completed and you can see the status succeeded. You can close this window. Okay, and to see, you know, the integration services status, what you can do is you can open the SQL Server Management Studio. Uh, this is not a place where you can create the package and execute them, but you can just check the connectivity to your integration services, right? So first of all, you have to change the database engine type here. So the server type is integration services, okay? And you can browse for more if you don't know. You can click the integration services and just choose the server name, right? So I'm just clicking this. I'll click OK and I'll click OK. So you must be seeing this error, right? Because it says that uh, only administrators have access to SSIS services, right? So as we have opened this SMS from uh, my user, so I don't have elevated access rights, right? So what I have to do is I have to right click and run as administrator integration services. Okay. So I'll choose the integration services as the server name, uh, as the server type and I'll select the integration services okay and you might be wondering right uh, our SQL Server 2014 was a C was a named instance and why this integration service is pointing to the server name right so SSIS service always runs at the server level and you can have only one instance of SSIS on your machine running but you can have several instances of report services and analysis services running on your machine right so integration services will always run on uh, run at the server level now just choose and click ok and just click connect right so see you got connected previously you were not able to get connected right so here you can see right running packages and stored packages and you know the packages location where are they stored in file system or the msdb databases right so here you can see some you know already created packages right so this is how you know you can connect to ssis from ssms and you can you know check few of its properties and metadata Okay. Now to work on SSIS, in earlier versions of SQL Server till I think 2005 and 2008, you need to work on BIDS, that is Business Intelligence Development Studio. And uh, after 2008 R2 and I think after uh, SQL Server 2012, 
the this thing was integrated with visual studio and tool was named as ssdt sql server data tools so you need ssdt to create your ssis packages and you know test them and run them so to create your ssis packages you need uh, the sql server data tools that we will see in our forthcoming videos okay okay and let's go and check the services right integration services uh, how they are running services.msc okay and i'll just go to sql server right so this is our sql server uh, named instance and this is the sql server agent sql server integration services 12.0 12.0 means uh, from sql server 2014 right and this is the sql server service running and in automatic mode right and the logon as is anti service this is the default logon you can change this logon to some service account right uh, it's a ideal method because you might be running this integration services on your dev machine or test machine or you at a production whatever it is you know and you would be needing some elevated access to run your integration services with other components of sql server and maybe some other server and database server so it's ideal to use a centralized uh, service account that has elevated access and administrative access so that your integration services should not have any issues running your packages okay so this is all about installation of integration services and and in my forthcoming video i'll show you how to work with integration services and create packages okay thank you very much for watching this video hope you will like it uh, please subscribe and uh, thank you very much